Hello and welcome back to Fallon Fearlessly Vlog. I'm Fallon and today's video is going to be a Thread Up clean out kit video. I first heard of Thread Up from my older sister Hannah who likes to shop there a lot because you can get second hand clothes at a discount and you can even find things new with tags so you can get like really expensive brands and less expensive brands. It's also really cool because you can request a clean out kit from them which you can ship back to them for free because they pay for the shipping. You put your clothes in the bag in here and you send it to them and they will choose which items they want to keep which items they don't want to keep so the items they don't want to keep they will recycle and they will be turned into new things and the items that they do accept they'll put them up for sale and if they sell you get like a percentage of the car I've used this service in the past and I've gotten some money back so I thought I would try it again so I have two full boxes full of stuff from my closet that I've recently gone through that I'm going to try and send to thread up first I gotta open my bag here I haven't done that yet I was waiting for this video to open it, if I can open it. Let's see. Oh, here we go. So this is what the bag looks like. It's quite massive, and you can fit quite a lot in it. They have like some sticky stuff on here for you to tape it, but me, because I like to fill my bags extra full, I also like to put packing tape over this so it's extra secure so that nothing falls out. Okay. The first shirt I have is one that I believe I got from Hot Topic. And I just don't really wear it that often. It's just a tank top and it just says where to guess to what people. This next shirt I got from Rue 21 and I also don't really wear it that much. I used to really be into this detailing of like the crisscrosses. It's kind of like shoelace style but I've kind of grown out of it as I've gotten older. It's not really my style anymore. It's a savage on it and it's just a graphic tee. Oh, that means I have to refold all this, darn it. I didn't think this through. I'll just refold it later. The next item I have are these shorts that actually were my sister's. I don't really wear them because I don't really like shorts that are this long. I'm strange. I believe these are from JCPenney, the Arizona Jean Company brand. So next pair I have are these pair which I believe I got from Walmart, the No Boundaries brand. And I just don't really wear these ones because um, they kind of, on me personally, kind of ride up a lot. Kind of give me wedgies and they take your underwear and go whoop right up there definitely gonna put these in the thread up as well and i'm like hey and if they don't accept this stuff it's totally cool because they can recycle it and that way it's not sitting on a landfill and creating waste they don't want it they can recycle it that's totally chill so the next thing i have is actually a pair of jeans that i believe are also from jc penny they're the aria jeans brand they're kind of just really big on the waist on me so this sweater which is from jc penny i used to wear this a lot but I'm not really into the style of it anymore. It's just not really me. It's actually not this tight. It's weird because like it actually stretches out to your body size. It's just when it's on a hanger, it has this weird shape to it. Like, I pretty much decided I want to get rid of based on how I wore it in the last couple of years and most of it was no. So I thought, well, I will get rid of this and make room for a new stuff in my closet that I know I'm gonna wear a lot. The next thing I have is this dress, which is from Rue 21. Again, there's like the crisscross style and it's just a black and coral pattern. I'm gonna put that in there. That would laugh. The next item is also from Rue 21 and it's this tank top and it has elephants on it. It's weird because it looks like it fits normal. The way it stretches is it's strange. It's not my favorite type of material. This is a sweater that's also from JCPenney, Arizona Jean Company. I used to really like stripes and I was really obsessed with England and I got this sweater from Forever 21. It's a cream sweater. This has the British flag on it but I've grown out of that as well. Pretty much the majority of why I'm getting rid of most of these clothes is because I've grown out of it. So the next few items are sweaters and they all basically look like this. I believe this one was my older sister's. It's just a striped sweater, like the red one, but it's black, white, and gray. Not for me. These are from JCPenney, I believe, but it's navy, white, and like a teal blue. Not really my colors. Blue and an olive color. It looks like something blue's clothes would wear. The next thing is this cardigan, and the tag actually fell out at me. It wasn't sounding very well, and it was from Rue 21. But I'm pretty sure they don't accept things without tags, but I thought that's okay, because at least they can just recycle it. It's like a shark bite cardigan, and it's like really long on the sides. It's not really for me, and it's like really lightweight, and I don't know, I get cold in it. Next, I have some sweatpants that I got from Rue 21. I used to wear these a lot, but I don't know, I just feel like sweatpants don't look good on me at all. I prefer leggings or jeans. Breaking news, nobody cares. I used to really get into that saying jogger sweatpants, I think is what you call them. I'm running out of room. Here's another pair of sweatpants, and these ones are from JCPenney. They're the City Streets brand, and they're just plain black ones jogger style sweatpants. I don't really wear these either. On to the second box. I have to move my boxes around here. I have like some fall fur vests which I was really into but now I don't really wear them anymore just because they're really hard to fit under winter jackets and they're just not really for me. This is the Massimo Supply Co. company and then the next one is a fall fur vest that's kind of like a sweater material on the back. This one's from JCPenney, Arizona Jean Company. I haven't worn this in a while. Oh, it has a zipper. Next up 
are some tank tops from JC Penny. So I have this one, but it's just black and white. And then again, but it has like brighter colors, like neon almost, like a pink, yellow, blue, white, and black, and orange. Next, I have this shirt that's from Rue Tong Wan, but it just kind of fits kind of tight on me. Like, my arms, like, I can't roll the sleeves up because it literally would really make my arm red. Kind of, like, cut off my circulation, I guess you could say a little bit. It's only, like, one of the arms. It's so weird. So the next thing I have is this coat, which is actually from Delia's. It's, like, a varsity jacket, and it just says 23 on it. It's red and white, and it says LA on the sleeve. And I, again, don't really wear this that much, so I'm going to put this in the bag. It's just been sitting in my closet taking up space. The next thing I have are some leggings, which are from Rue Tong Wan, and they fit me really well and the hips but they're just really big on me on the waist i have that problem with a lot of stuff and they're fleece lined inside they're a pretty charcoal pattern and they have velvet on the legs of this floral pattern i'm not really into velvet and they just fit wonky on my body shape this is just too good but it is i can't even fold these next i have a dress which is also from room 21 it's not quite my favorite and it has like a built-in pants in the front i kind of feel weird about wearing these they never fit me right in the um the boobage area. That's not for me. I'm part of the itty bitty titty committee. It was cute for me at the time and I'm grown out of it. I'm trying to dress, you know, more mature at my age. The last, I believe, three things are all like flannels that I have. This one is from Rue 21 and it's black and white like a buffalo. There was a hair check pattern and I just don't really like this one because it's so oversized. I like to wear them tucked into my jeans. This one has slits on the side and it just always comes out and it's very frustrating and i just haven't worn this one in a while so i thought i'm gonna just gonna put it in a thread up big so the next one i have is also from rue 21 and i'm not really into it because it's purple and black i just don't really like the color scheme of it i'm not quite sure why i got this and the last one i have is from jc penny it's like burgundy color but it's also like really oversized and really tricky to tuck in because again it has the slits at the bottom so it always comes out and it's just so much fabric to try and tuck in it just it looks funky everywhere now we get to put all of these inside the bag and i have to refold some of this because it looks really ratchet from Rue. It's very fitted and I just don't really like the crisscross style. It's ribbed but I don't really wear it. The last thing is this other Fawford vest which is Delia's brand and it's just a charcoal one. I just don't really wear it. I'm gonna pop that in there. Oh wait, sorry, I have one more thing. I forgot, just went into my closet again. I also found I have this shirt, which is from an older sister of mine. I don't really wear it. And then I have that same shirt in black that I myself had gotten. And I believe that's everything for my bag. So now I'm gonna try and close it. video i hope you enjoyed seeing what i got rid of in my closet and i hope you hopefully learned a little bit about thread up if you didn't know about it before i will see you in another video on friday at noon